Today we're going to talk about business lawyer secrets no one will tell you, part one. Hey guys, it's Sam Malai. I'm a business lawyer for entrepreneurs. I help entrepreneurs start and grow their business. If you're an entrepreneur and you're looking to start and grow your business, subscribe below. So today we're going to talk about business lawyer secrets that no one will tell you. These are the top secrets that I have that I've saved that I would like to share with my audience. So let's get on with it. Number one, micro test your business idea before you start spending time and money building your product. So this is this is the most important I would say. So this is the biggest fall, biggest trap that I see people making is that they spend weeks and months and sometimes years working on a product or a service that they're working on before they even test it with the market. What you wanna do instead is you wanna spend some time to create a minimum viable product. What this means is you're gonna create the version of your product or service that's that takes the most minimum um, effort to create before you release it to the market so that you could test whether this idea that you have will work out. And if it does, then you know you could go spend more time creating creating that product or service. And if it doesn't, then great. You don't you didn't spend that much time and money, so you don't you won't lose out. Um, so usually what businesses don't work out is that they haven't done this upfront yet. So make sure whatever you do is you always micro test your business idea before you start spending my time and money towards the business. Number two, focus on the problem people are having in order to find the best niche for your business. So in order to find the best business idea or the best niche for, for your business is to focus on the problems. And the more you realize this, and the more likely you'll have success with your business. So in order to find problems, usually you could just do keyword some keyword research. If you don't know how to do that, just YouTube, uh, how to do keyword research, and look for those problems, the, those biggest pain points that your prospects are having. And the bigger the problem, usually the bigger the solution, um, the, and the bigger the market um, that you'll be able to offer your product or service for. Number three. Reviews and social proof matter a lot. And this is something that I learned the past couple of years. Um, when I understood its power, I basically went and got, um, spent as much time and uh, put in as much effort that I could and to get as many reviews as I could. At this point, I have six, 760 Google reviews. And probably by the time you see this video, I'm probably gonna have more. My goal is to get to a thousand Google reviews. And um, when I saw this opportunity two or three years ago, I basically, Create a good system to be able to capture reviews from my uh, from my clients, um, and and I realized that anybody who buys from you, it doesn't matter if it's a product or service or anything like that, will Google you. There's like I would say about ninety percent, if not more, people are gonna Google you before they spend money on you. So make sure you have very good solid reviews everywhere, um, especially on Google. Um, I know a lot of people spend time and effort getting, getting reviews on Yelp. I would say um, Yelp is not as important as Google. Spend time getting reviews for your Google profile. Um, if you don't know how to set one up, um, just um, if you just Google Google My Business, you'll be able to create um, a Google business page uh, for your business. And then make sure to have a good system in place in order to get reviews. Um, there's also a trick on how you can get more reviews. And the trick is, and I'll share with you guys, only with the viewer, uh, people who are watching this right now, um, in order to get more reviews, Instead of, um, after you're done with the service or product, um, whatever you're offering, instead of um, asking for a review and giving them a link to write your review, instead, what you have to do, and this is the secret sauce, so pay, uh, pay close attention, you have to ask for permission to ask for a review. So what, I, what do I mean by that? So instead of saying, hey, do you mind leaving me a review? Here's the link, uh, I really appreciate it. Instead of doing that, instead, you, what you wanna say is, Hey, I'd like to ask you for a favor. Do you mind if I send you a link to leave me a review? Um, and it's a question that that ends with a question mark instead of giving the link. And the, and, and the request is for you to give them a link to leave a review. Um, and the, usually the reply that you wanna hear back is yes. And by your, process, by your clients or your customers saying yes, then they've uh, committed a micro commitment towards you um, uh, giving you a review and at that point they're way more likely to leave your review so make sure to use this micro commitment this little micro commitment trick in order to get more reviews for your business number four 
always offer multiple offers, okay? But no more options than three. So whatever you're selling, try to always have different variations, either the starter package and also a middle package and the, the advanced package. Um, it's a lot easier, um, you'll, be more, you'll be a lot more successful if you um, try to convince somebody to choose from an option versus giving somebody the option of either choosing to buy your service or not. So if you have one offer, the decision comes down to whether they should buy your service or not. And you see how you're kind of you're kind of making it very likely for them to say no. Versus if you give somebody three options, then they're deciding between those three options usually. Um, so always make sure whatever product or service you're offering is to always make sure to offer multiple offers. Um, something important to know here is that you don't want to give too many options. Um, by you offering too many options, you would usually um, you would be hurting yourself um, by confusing the prospect. If you give somebody too many options, they won't know which one to pick. Um, there's some option. Uh, there's some paralysis that comes into having too many options. So be careful not to offer more options than three. And number five, um, be authentic and transparent and share your story. So let's talk about that. So by being authentic and transparent, it makes you real. It makes you a, a real person. Um, and the more real, the transparent that you are, the more that people will trust you. And trust is a very important part of the closing process of a of, a, of any business. Um, so by you being authentic and being transparent, um, people will trust you more. And also, you want to share your story. So stories is the best way to get somebody, um, is the best form of copy that you could have uh, in your um, sell material. Um, people want to know your story. Why do you do what you do? Um, that kind of builds authenticity um, and authority for what you're doing, what you do. Um, so I would like to hear from you. What's your number one best business secret that you know? I'm going to hear from you guys. Let's, let's try to create a good list of business secrets that we could share with each other. Um, that way we could all learn from each other and learn from that. So comment below and let me know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. Um, be on the lookout for, um, I'm going to share another, I'm going to have another episode of my business secrets. Be on the lookout for that. I'll talk to you guys soon.